Which is the best fitting on the market? When it comes to plumbing fittings for water lines, what do you think the best is? I've been getting my tail busted because I talk trash about a certain fitting, but it's because of all the leaks that we fixed with it. I was reached out to a company about doing a sponsorship, and it was a good sponsorship, but I said no. I talked to my management company, I said, guys, I'm sorry, but this is very similar to a fitting that I don't like. And they said, well, Roger, that's your prerogative. So they reached back out to the sponsor and said, look, I'm sorry, but Roger does not want to do a sponsorship with you because you're like this other fitting. And I said, well, actually we're not. So when my management company got back with me, I said, here's the only way I'll do this. I want to go up there. I want to look at it. I want to test it. I want to check it out. And I want to see if it's as good as they say it is. Well, they sent me up there and I got to tell you, it blew my mind. Hydrostatic testing. What do you think it's really all about? Y'all have seen me do videos about sewer test, water test, different things like that, where I talk about hydrostatic testing and how it's something you shouldn't allow plumbers to do. Well, today we're at a remote facility up in the far northeast corner of the United States where we're actually doing hydrostatic testing on a quick fitting and on a shark bite. But I'm also gonna show you how a quick fitting can hold more pressure than a press fitting. That's gonna blow your mind. Anyway, let's check out these videos and let's have fun. So guys, this video is sponsored by Quick Fitting. This is a fitting that's not new, but it's one I had never heard of before. So what I'm gonna tell you is go to the website, check it out, see what all they have. It starts with a 75 year warranty and goes from there. So whether you're new to this channel or you've been here before, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Stay till the end and I'm gonna tell you why I think this particular brand of fitting is gonna change the way plumbing is done in the future. So first of all, we all agree, I believe, that brazing and soldering are the two best ways to do this. And I wanna tell you this because there were solder joints in the test that you will see. Brazing we didn't do, but soldering, exceeded every one of these pressures. And the highest pressure test that we got up to before it blew apart was 2,100 pounds, actually over 2,100 pounds. And this particular fitting had been tested multiple times. Now, we did two different tests. We did a pressure test. And I want y'all to know the shop that y'all have seen in mine, the studio, well, I'm adding on to it. Because after I left Providence, Rhode Island, I figured, you know, I need a pressure testing assembly and I need a tensile strength assembly, meaning you hook things up and then this machine will slowly apply pressure to pull it apart and it'll tell you at what pressure it finally pulled apart. Well, we tried this with a solder joint because I said, look, we've tested everything else. I want to see what a solder joint will do. Well, the problem is it pulled the machine apart. So I want to talk about the pressures that we tested these two the other day and where things blew apart. Now I'm going to give you some different numbers because testing different times it did different things. But the press fittings tested where they didn't blow apart till somewhere between 1500 pounds and I think actually we had one blow apart at 11. This was just while we were playing around it didn't get documented. So 1504 pounds to 1693. So imagine this we're talking a press fitting. But here's the funny thing. Press fitting actually failed before quick fitting did. A press fitting that has 3,000 pounds of pressure squeezing it failed before quick fitting that is literally a push to connect fitting. Now guys, this is a test that I did in person. The funny thing is, is whenever we had multiple pieces together, the one that blew apart at the lowest pressure also had a shark bite fitting, a push to connect fitting. Think about it. You've, all you've got in either one of them is really the O-ring. The shark bite fitting has the stainless steel to grab it. The press fitting just has copper that we squeeze. This was my first aha moment. It really did surprise me on the difference here. Shark bite failed anywhere between 812 and 843 PSI. And I know that's a lie. So those of y'all that think shark bite is as good or better than any other thing out there, well, Shark bite failed before anything else. But guys, here's the deal. This was put together perfect. It still failed before press fittings and it failed before quick fitting. Now, if you'd have asked me beforehand, well, yeah, I'd have probably thought that shark bite would have failed. I actually saw a piece that had a press fitting, a shark bite, and a quick fitting 
And the quick pivot is the only one that survived both tests where the other two fell apart. So then what we did, we took that quick fitting and put it on all by itself. And what did it do? It held pressure to 21, 27 PSI, 2,127 pounds. Guys, that's a lot of pressure. That is about 21 times more than city water pressure on a lot of the houses that we deal with every day. 21 times more. Now, remember I mentioned they also have a 75 year warranty. So quick fitting literally won this contest, hands down. I went up to Providence, Rhode Island thinking, I'm not gonna do a sponsorship deal. This is not gonna work. Not only did they beat Shark Bite, but quick fitting also outperformed the press fitting. That really got me thinking. Now we went over to tensile strength. That's right, have you ever seen a plumber hook stuff up just to see if he can pull it apart? You're gonna enjoy this today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I gotta tell you, you're gonna learn something new about plumbing fittings that I promise you've never known before. So we did a couple of different ones, but here's the thing. Shark bite tensile test pulled apart at 806 pounds. The press tensile strength tested to 983 pounds, almost a thousand pounds, not too shabby. Now remember there's copper joints on each end of this where the fittings are, those never budged. Here's the thing that blew my mind. The quick fitting, well, it tested the 1,633 pounds. It actually outperformed the press fitting and the shark bite. Now, so I want you to think about this. If you have to put fittings in the correct ranking order of stability, pressure, quality, you'd literally probably look at brace fittings first, soldered fittings next, then quick fitting, then a pressed fitting, and, well, last would be shark bite. How do we go about saving money on jobs in the future? Well, if we can find a product that saves us labor and saves us money on materials, that's going to be a win-win for the consumer, the customer, and the plumber. Do me a favor. Let me know what do you think? What do you think the future of plumbing is like? I still think, and even the people at Quick Fitting says, look, soldering and brazing is fantastic. They are now, though, the next best thing. Once again, thank you to Quick Fitting for sponsoring it, taking me up there and showing me an old dog can learn new tricks. I'm Roger Wakefield, helping you make more money in the trades. But Quick Fitting also, bre I've been getting my tail busted because I talk trash about a certain, I've been getting my tail busted because I talk trash about a certain, Shark bite blew a what well, not shark bite blew apart anywhere. I would have never thought a push to make but guys remember I went up to I went up to